What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over some of the ways to troll your friends in Minecraft. Having fun with your friends in Minecraft can take many forms, with trolling them as a server owner being one of the best. Whether you scare them or mess around with them, there are countless ways to do it, especially with mods and plugins. But trolling doesn't always have to be evil, so let's go over some of the good and bad ways that you can troll your friends. There are actually a ton of methods to troll in Minecraft. Pranksters over 10 years ago started blowing up their friends' houses, which eventually led to more creative ways. The classic way of trolling players in Minecraft is to use TNT, creeper eggs, and bedrock with cheats or operator permissions. These items can be manually spawned with the give command, or you can simply enter creative mode. You can block off their chests with unbreakable bedrock, or better yet, a barrier block. Otherwise, you can spawn creepers near them while being invisible to scare them when they turn around. Rigging up TNT with redstone might also be a viable option, since they'll have no idea what they're literally walking into. Instead of using classic trolling methods, you can also use some plugins. For example, using Change Skin X gives you the opportunity to pretend to be them or a specific character. Otherwise, you can use curses to cast them onto your friends to make them get hurt by water or by being unable to control their camera. And rather than plugins, using mods might be an even better option. The only thing here is that other players will have to download them too before they join the server. A couple good ones to use are Chance Cubes or Lucky Block, which are mods introducing a new block that triggers random events when they break. This can be tweaked to always give bad things like TNT falling from the sky. And these ideas aren't even all of them. There are literally hundreds of methods to troll, so get creative to find the best results. That being said, make sure not to overload your world with these pranks since it can cause problems for the server, whether that be spawning too many mobs or making your players get too annoyed. But as long as you keep it simple, you'll have a great time and your players will too. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.